Capricorn, welcome to your energy reading. And uh, this is for the week of the 24th of October. I hope you're doing well. And ooh, Capricorn, your cards flew. Let me just pause and pick up the card. So this is the general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest, okay? So cards are flipping all over the place for you, Capricorn. <laughs> Pull it together. So um, I hope you had a you know wonderful past few weeks. And let's see. Let's pick three and uh, take it from there. We have here the first card, Inner Guidance, Capricorn, Inner Guidance. The second card we have for you, Discovery, Discovery. And then Capricorn, we have Life Cycle. Okay. Wow, some of you, um, I feel like you are expecting a baby, um, Capricorn baby. Your sign is Capricorn. And at the same time, you're expecting a Capricorn baby that's like incoming, or you are also entering a new phase of your growth, a new phase of your development. And um, I feel uh, Capricorn, some of you are entering this phase where um, it's called a Chiron return, right? So you should be around the age of 48 to 50, where you have completed all the cycles around uh, all the planets and you're entering this new, completely new cycle in your life, Capricorn. And um, interesting season that you are going into. Uh, a lot of it is self-introspection, right? The inner guidance journey. It's starting where you are learning to develop yourselves uh, or going to a path of deeper personal development or spiritual growth. So um, if you have started your spiritual journey already with a religion or some spiritual practice, you might find that you will go much deeper at this point. This week, you will be introduced to this particular energy and discover new things. A week of new discovery, very interesting. Um, for you this week, I feel the energy has a lot to do with your inner growth, inner development, uh, maybe quite similar to the energies of last week. And this is a continuation and going deeper. I'm not picking up anything about your professional life or your personal life per se, but more about inner journey, inner development. But let's see what other cards, um, you know, what kind of energies it brings for us from another deck and take it from there. So Capricorn, we have here grounded, right? So important for you to ground your energies, get connected with mother nature, get connected with your energies, you know, to have really good health, um, you need to be very connected with the earth. You know, humanity has been so disconnected with the earth, with mother nature. We all live in buildings in high rise concrete, Right, we're not uh, connecting with the electrons of the earth and um, not connecting properly um, gives us a inflammation in our body system and all of that. So if you are not well, if you're feeling like you know your body is um, not in tip-top condition, you might want to do some grounding. Go out there, walk on grass, remove your shoes, right? And uh, do that grounding. It helps, it elevates uh, pain, inflammation, uh, it reduces all of that tremendously. Go and, you know, Google, get some research done on what earthing or grounding means, all right? It's very powerful and it can help you. I feel like this has to do with your physical health as well as your spiritual growth, right? It's um, pushing you towards making a bigger connection with your um, inner self, with your soul self, okay? So let's see the next card, new beginnings, right? So very nice. So you're entering this new cycle, right? The discovery, the new cycle, life cycle card that we picked up earlier, this confirms that you're entering a new beginning, whether it is a new baby, a new life cycle for yourself, right? Or something new moving as well for some of you. Um, new job even, okay? And but um, for most of you, I feel it has to do with your inner journey, you know, personal development, going deeper within. Let's pick one more. And this says reunion of souls. So you are getting reconnected with some people from the past, people that you know, reunion. So this could be romantic or not, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be, um, but you are getting re re reconnecting, right? People from the past. Uh, this people from the past coming back uh, could be a positive thing. They could help you, uh, push you towards greater growth and development. 
um, they could be part of the journey that you're entering into in your, into your new cycle, into new beginnings. So, um, you know, keep your eyes open for them. All right. So next three cards we're going to pick from this particular deck for you, Capricorn. Let's see. And um, let's see. We have step out of your comfort zone. So I feel this is related to your, you know, inner journey, your new beginning, a new cycle that you're entering. If you hesitate and you are afraid to step out of a comfort zone, you know, if you feel like you're not equipped or maybe some, for some of you, you feel like you're too old, uh, you need to really step out of a comfort zone, right? No one is really too old for growth. No one is really too old, you know, to learn something new. So step out of your comfort zone and, you know, go for it. And a new start is coming. Oh my God, you know, three. <laughs> um, every deck we get tells you you have a new beginning. Okay, new beginning. For, very exciting, right? So three times confirm that. New cycle, new start is coming, new beginning. All right, so keep your eyes open for that. If you don't see in you know, a horizon, keep your eyes uh, and ears open up for that because I feel a big change is coming for you and it's good, all positive, okay? The energies I'm feeling and don't let your past hold you back. So in your decision-making process, especially when, you know, stepping out of comfort zone, if you're letting your past hold you back, then that doesn't really serve you, all right? You need to go forward, go for what serves you, go for what is intended for you, Trust the universe in this and allow yourself to move. <laughs> move, 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 okay? So let's pick one from this deck, Soul Action, Capricorn. Now, Capricorn, um, as it, you know, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. And if you need personalized um, reading for clarity, you can always book a private session. Details are below the video, okay? Capricorn, let's pick one for you on Soul Truth. And it says here, am I focused on what I want most? Am I focused on what I want most? It says here, what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values? And do I need to make adjustments? So you need to prioritize, right? Think about how you want to prioritize all these options and choices in front of you time to prioritize so that you gain some clarity. So there is a quote here, you know, from um, here, you can't see it, I'm gonna read it to you. And the quote here is from Tony Robbins and it says, one reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. So this is a good reminder, okay? and. Ask yourself again, am I focused on what I want most? Okay, Capricorn. Let's pick an inspirational card from this deck, the fairy deck. We'll pick a nice one for Capricorn. We want a feel good one <laughs> for Capricorn. So let's see. And we get divination. Divination. It says here, enhance your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. Very nice. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. If you're looking for clarity, trust in your, you know, your own divination, your own intuition. Um, do something about it, okay? And then in the clarity that you're after. So Capricorn, I wish you a wonderful week ahead and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.